Aladdin and the Magic Lamp Once upon a time, a boy named Aladdin lived in a bustling city in Arabia. Aladdin was poor. He dressed in rags and had little food to eat. He spent his days in the market, doing small chores for money and begging for coins. He vowed that someday he would be as rich as the Sultan. One day, a magician arrived in Arabia. He had a secret plan to steal a great fortune. He needed a strong boy to help him. In the market, the magician noticed Aladdin. I see you are very poor, the magician said. Follow me and I will make you rich. The two went into the desert, crossed a great valley, and came to a dark cave. In the cave, there are two lamps, the magician said. One has great powers, and one is worthless. Bring me the golden one, and I will give you a reward. But touch only the lamps, or you will be trapped forever. Aladdin climbed down into the narrow, damp cave. He reached the bottom and saw a great cavern. The sun began to rise. It shined through a tiny hole in the ceiling. The bright light bounced off giant piles of rubies, emeralds, diamonds, gold, and pearls. Aladdin spotted the lamps and rushed toward them. The magician can have his lamp, he thought to himself. I can sell the other in the market. He grabbed them and climbed back up to the mouth of the cave. Help me up, Aladdin said to the magician. Of course, but first give me the lamp, the magician replied. Aladdin handed him the golden lamp. Instead of pulling Aladdin to safety, the magician sealed the cave and ran away. Aladdin sat in the cave and wondered what he should do next. He pulled the second lamp from his vest and held it in his hands. It was dusty, so he used a corner of his shirt to polish it. A puff of smoke rose from the lamp and filled the cavern. When the smoke cleared, Aladdin saw a figure floating before him. I am the genie of the lamp, he said. Your wish is my command. I wish to go home, said Aladdin. In the blink of an eye, Aladdin was sitting in his humble home. Thinking he had imagined the whole thing, Aladdin pulled the lamp from his vest pocket. He rubbed it once more. Again, the genie appeared. What is your wish, master? At that moment, Aladdin heard loud music and excited voices through his window. He looked out and saw the princess, Badura, being carried through the street. Aladdin fell instantly in love. I wish to have enough riches so that the princess will love and marry me, Aladdin said to the genie. Aladdin was instantly transported to a magnificent palace. The walls were covered with beautiful tapestries. The windows and doors were encrusted with jewels. The furniture was made of luxurious fabrics. Aladdin looked at his reflection in the mirror and saw he was dressed in robes of gold. Aladdin traveled quickly to the palace where Princess Badura and her father, the Sultan, lived. The Sultan was impressed by Aladdin's great wealth. Princess Badura was charmed by his warm smile and knew she would be happy with him. They were married at once. The new couple lived happily in Aladdin's grand palace for many years. 
The magic lamp sat on a shelf in the palace, but Aladdin never needed it again. His every wish had been fulfilled.